37 question. Here we are given a matrix P and I is the identity matrix of order 3. Here we are given a matrix P whose elements in first row are 1, 0, 0, 4, 1, 0, 16, 4 and 1. And we are given a relation P to the power 50 minus matrix Q equals identity matrix. Now we have to find value of Q31 plus Q32 upon Q21. As we can see from given matrix P, if we find P square matrix, then the elements will be 1, 0, 0, 8, 1, 0, 16 plus 32, 8 and last element is 1 and after P square when we find matrix PQ elements of this matrix PQ will be 1 0 0 12 1 0 16 plus 32 plus 48 12 and 1. Now from symmetry we can see that the matrix P power 50 will be 1 0 0 we have here 200 1 0 this element will be 16 times sum of first 50 natural number this of course 200 and this will be 1. Now from this relation we can see that element Q31 will be 16 into 50 into 51 by 2 element Q32 will be 200 and of course element Q21 will be 200 and therefore this value Q31 plus Q32 upon Q21 will be equal to 103. Therefore option B is correct. Now question number 38. In this question we have to find area of the region formed by satisfying points on the xy plane. y is greater than or equal to under root mod x plus 3 and 5 by less than or equal to x plus 9 less than or equal to 15. Now when we solve this part y is greater than or equal to under root mod x plus 3 we can read after squaring y square will be greater than or equal to mod x plus 3 and we can consider two cases one for x greater than or equal to minus 3 we will find y square is greater than or equal to x plus 3 and another case for x less than minus 3 this y square will be greater than or equal to minus of x plus 3. Now we draw these two curve. The first curve will be like this and of course y will be non-negative because y is greater than or equal to this non-negative quantity. Therefore the graph of this curve will never be below x axis. So this part of the curve is y is greater than or equal to y is equals to under root x plus 3. Now we can draw this another curve which is y equal minus of y square equal minus of x plus 3 and this is y square equal x plus 3. This point is of course minus 3 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma root 3. Now when we consider this part of the inequality from this we can see that x is less than or equal to 6. So we draw a line which is parallel to y axis x equals 6 and this x less than or equal 6 means reason on the left side of the line x equal 6. Now we draw the line 5 by equal x plus 9. When we put x 0 we will find y intercept of this line is 9 by 5. This point lies above 0 comma root 3. And when 
we draw this line this line will be this line will be like this their point of intersection we can find these two point of intersection by solving this curve and the another curve which is y square equal x plus 3 we can put value of x from equation 1 in equation 2 we find y square equal 5 by minus 6 this become y square minus 5 by plus 6 equal 0 from there we can find y equal 2 and y equal 3 when we put y equal 2 over here this point will be x equal 1 so the coordinate of this this point will be 1 comma 2 and when we put y equal 3 over here this point will be 6 comma 3 now the required area will be this shaded area satisfying all these conditions now to find this area we draw perpendicular from this over x axis this point become 1 comma 0 and we draw perpendicular from this point on x axis we can find this point on solving y square equal minus of x plus 2 and the curve which is line 5 y equal x plus 9 the coordinate of this point will be minus 4 comma 1 so this point become minus 4 comma 0 now this shaded area is our required area now to find this shaded area we can say that this shaded area will be area of this trapezium say this point is a this point b say this point c and this point d so required area will be area of trapezium a b c d minus say this area is a1 and say this area is a2 area of trapezium minus sum of these two areas now the area of this trapezium is half time sum of parallel sides which is 1 plus 2 multiplied by distance between them which is of course 5 minus these two areas now we can find this area a1 by integrating from minus 4 to minus 3 function under root of minus x plus 3 and this area has value equal to 2 upon 3 similarly we can find this area a2 after integrating over interval minus 3 to 1 function under root x plus 3 dx and this has value equal to 16 upon 3 so putting these two values over here this becomes 2 by 3 plus 16 by 3 now this is 15 over 2 minus 16 plus 2 18 divided by 3 has value 6 which becomes 3 by 2 so the right answer for this question is c option and therefore option c is right answer for this question